Sarah and back with another video and oh my god <laughs> And Annie <laughs> She's listening to me in the other room So all I'm gonna talk about is the album The album It's not The album <laughs> The album Annie's outside my door right now listening She's having piercing Oh yeah Okay first off for important news before we get to you know One Direction I got a little stud piercing You can barely even see it and it hurts like fuck I have to like clean it like three times a day You can't even see it but it's like a little stud thing You have to keep it in for like six weeks and My parents have like, they know nothing about it. So they're gonna find out on Thanksgiving break, which is gonna be awesome. She's no longer pure. Annie, go back to your homework. No! Okay, back to the important news. 1D sucks dick. Annie says 1D sucks dick, which is hashtag confirmed. Okay, so basically the whole album leaked, and I was like freaking out. Like, I think it leaked when I was like in the library doing homework, and I was like, okay, I have no Wi-Fi. How am I supposed to hear this? I didn't even know if the album leaked. I thought people were just lying or something. But now I go home, and I'm like, okay, the album is leaked, but it's not like a high-quality leak. It's not like... Uh, like iTunes, like it's not like all on iTunes or whatever. Basically, One Direction had a listening party, and if you listen to the songs that got leaked, it has like a bunch of fangirls in the background screaming, saying inappropriate things, and just being really annoying and loud. But basically, the songs that you still hear at the listening party, they're still pretty good, and I've heard all of them. But then the next day, I go on, I click the SoundCloud link again, and they all got deleted because obviously they're leaked. I could no longer listen to them, and I was really mad about that because I wanted to show all my friends the songs and I'm like okay I guess I gotta cancel plans now to hang out with you because I just wanted to hang out with you to listen to the songs and nothing else uh, no offense so we're gonna have to cancel plans so other than that I was really mad but then a couple days after the link worked again and I can hear all the songs on SoundCloud so right now I can hear like half the album even though they're really bad quality I don't care the songs are so good you guys don't even know how good the songs are I would have to say my favorite is at the end of the day no no Olivia no, what a feeling. No, it has to be, no, 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 it has to be If I Could Fly because that is such a Larry song, like I don't even know, like you can't even deny it. I, if you watch the video at the listening party, which got leaked also, it had Larry in it. If you just listen to it, it's about Larry. It's in the nice piano in the back. Okay, all the songs have beautiful harmonies and my theory is that ever since Zayn left, they decided to go to four part harmony. And when Zayn was there, I think they had three part harmony. I'm not sure why they did that, but you can tell as soon as Zayn left, the song sounds so much fuller. And you would think that if Zayn left, it wouldn't sound as full, but it really sounds more full without Zayn, no offense. I love Zayn with all my heart. I'm going to miss him. Traitor. But I'm just saying that the song sounds so much more full without Zayn because I think they went to four part harmony when he left, which was a great choice. So all the songs sound better. And I heard in one of the songs, they actually went to the Abbey Road Studios where the Beatles were at in like the 60s. And one of their songs actually sounds like a, like a Beatles kind of like, like a song kind of thing. And it sounds awesome. My favorite song is when they shut the fuck up. <laughs> is that the last album though? No. Damn it. <laughs> so basically fans were screaming when they were watching the If I Could Fly video. It's mostly Harry singing and then it goes to Louis' verse and then it just has beautiful harmonies and all that. A lot of Larry in it. I thought that was literally going to be their coming out video but I guess not. Louis and Harry were apart in April and Louis wrote Home during like the first week of April and then Harry wrote If I Could Fly. Hashtag confirmed. So seriously I don't know who found this out but it just kind of proves that if Louis and Harry are just away from each other just for a month in April like even just a few weeks, Louis would write that beautiful song, Home, and then Harry would write If I Could Fly. Like, they write songs, they miss each other, and it was during that that April break, because if you guys remember back to April, they were, Louis and Harry were pretty much separate during April. And it was confirmed that that's when they were writing songs. Harry tweeted, the summertime and the butterflies all belong to your creation on the always in my heart anniversary day. Harry wrote that line and after that line, he sings like, I love you, I love you. Oh, and during the album release party, a girl shouted out like, oh, raise your hand if you believe in Larry or something like that. A girl yelled like for people to raise their hands if they ship Larry in the whole room went crazy. So it just proves that like everybody there was a Larry shipper and I heard after the whole album release party more people walked out being a Larry shipper because after that song if I could fly and just the video and everything people said okay I wasn't a Larry before but now I'm a Larry so. Fuck Larry. <laughs> it's Halo. Yeah I wish their ship name was called Halo it just sounds so much prettier because the the first two letters of Harry's name the first two letters of Louie's name it just sounds better. Why didn't we think of Halo to begin with like Whichever bitch thought of the name Larry like the first like year of One Direction, fuck you. I love Larry and everything, but why Larry? This sounds like a nerd name that nobody wants to ship. I don't understand. Team Halo all the way, even though that's not really trendy because all the magazines and media know Larry, but whatever. The concept of Larry is beautiful, but the ship name itself, 
kind of needs some work. Harry wrote, if I could fly, I'd be coming right back home to you. And Louis wrote, you'll never feel like you're alone. I'll make this feel like home. Even though Louis and Harry write on different songs, their lyrics correlate a lot and so do their tattoos. Plus yesterday, Harry tweeted if I could fly. Like when I saw that, I think I was also doing homework in the library. Oh my gosh, it's always when I'm in the library. I don't understand. I have to stop going to the library. I just saw Harry's tweet. He just typed if I could fly. I swear, I thought he released the actual song if I could fly. So I was freaking out. So I had to drop what I was doing, had to go back. And then suddenly I realized, okay, Harry did not tweet the song. There was no link. He just wrote the words or the lyric if I could fly. And I was really upset but I was really happy at the same time because as I said before, that song is Larry as fuck. And the fact that he would just randomly type that lyric, like yeah, it could have been any lyric from the album, but he had to type if I could fly, which killed us all. I thought he was actually gonna tweet the song. I thought it would be released like a couple days ago, but no. No, he, he just had to kill us and just write the lyric just to tease us. In the Fabulous magazine, pictures came out today and the boys look amazing on the covers. You, if you look at all the previous fa Fabulous magazines from the past, they looked okay, but these they just look like men, grown ass men. Harry is wearing a fucking beret and pff, if he didn't look classy before, he looks classy now. Like I didn't even know Harry could pull off a beret. I thought he'd be wearing like his fedora or something, but no, he looked awesome. Louis looked awesome. I've been seeing nice man-ups of putting Louis and Harry together on a fabulous magazine saying, oh, we came out or something. One day people, one day. Yep. But I was really disappointed because in the Fabulous magazine, like, they had really good things, but one of the things, like, one, I don't know who it was, but one bitch was like, Louis looks like a rat, he's ugly, and he's the least popular in the band. And I'm like, what? Bye, Felicia. Listen, if Harry heard someone say that, he'd be like, okay, hold my kale. We're taking this to court. I hope Harry did not hear that. I hope he did not read that. I don't even know if it was in the magazine. I just know it was going around Tumblr that some girl said that, some girl wrote that. And I just don't understand because if anything, Louis is the second most popular in the band, probably because of Harry, but also because of his own things that he does because Louis is amazing. Really? He looks like a rat? Like, I don't even understand, like, can you think of anything more creative to say? I don't, like, you could have said he looked like a hedgehog, because Louis does look like a hedgehog, but why a rat? Like, seriously, why? But no, seriously, Harry's gonna be dropping his kale and gonna go whoop your ass. She's full on ghetto. But if we're gonna talk about good news that happened on the Fabulous magazine. Harry confirmed that he's not gonna be an actor, because we saw him and I, Carly, in 2012. Terrible. Niall's gonna be dyeing his hair black. He really wants to and all the boys have like a screwdriver type of tattoo on their ankle and Niall's the only one who doesn't have tattoos in the band. He is a pure Irish child. He wants to get the same screwdriver type tattoo on his ankle just as a memory of the boys so if they ever part he will go on his way and he'll always have a memory of the boys because I think all of the boys have that tattoo on their ankle. So he's gonna be dyeing his hair black and getting his first tattoo. What a pure child. Oh my god. Some people just get tattoos to get tattoos but Niall's actually getting it for a purpose and that's for the boys and I think that's beautiful. I would love to see Niall's hair black. You know what he should do? He should keep the blonde but have like black highlights or it all black and have blonde highlights. I think that would look so cool. Louis also said in the magazine he's going to be getting a fat tummy because he's going to be eating like a ton of pies and he said the reason why he's going to be getting a fat tummy is because he's just lazy. He doesn't really work off anything and I just found that so cute because if you've been in the Phantom for a long time or seen any cute pictures of Louis or just any picture of Louis, you know he has a tummy and before he worked it off so he didn't have it anymore but we all have seen tummy Louis. He has like a little, little bump thing and it's so cute. So if Louis actually eats a lot during the break and then comes back with a tummy, oh my god. Let's just say we die too much in this fandom so I don't even know how about all of us are still living. But basically the whole theme of the Fabulous magazine was them saying hey we're not really going anywhere this won't be the end. They don't want it to be the end. Like basically the break's just for like you know getting their mind cleared, seeing their family and friends and just maybe writing more music and just coming back stronger, better, sounding better, healthier even. There's also another picture in the Fabulous magazine of all the boys together like a nice group shot of them and Louis and Harry were again sitting next to each other and no it's not Larry proof it doesn't mean anything but it's just the fact that Louis and Harry they couldn't sit next to each other for about two years they cannot interact at all and the fact that for the past month or two we've been seeing Louis and Harry always next to each other now is great I think something's changing even if it's just them becoming just friends again even if it's nothing romantic I still think it's amazing that we're now seeing something normal it doesn't look forced it doesn't look like they're hiding as much anymore 
like we're seeing just Louis and Harry more publicly sitting next to each other, feeling comfortable, and it's great. And I love seeing it. I don't care if it's platonic or not platonic. It's just nice seeing all the boys just look like a family, brothers again. People are saying it's rumored Louis and Harry could come out before the break, after the break. I don't know. It's possible. I think anything's possible in this fandom, but there's just no coincidences in this fandom. Whatever happens, I will always support the boys. And lastly, what I'd like to wrap up is that Escapade. We all know this fan fiction. If you haven't read it, where have you been? Have you even been in the fandom? I think everybody has read Escapade. It's the best fan fiction. Don't know the author. I think it was anonymous, but this got published. I'm not sure if it's getting published or if it got published, but it's definitely going to be published. And obviously for legal purposes, the writer has to change the names. That happens all the time. I think I've read a book that was a fan fiction. It was a Larry fan fiction, but the names had to be changed. I think we've all read Escapade in fan fiction form, but it's going to definitely be a book like in the libraries, on the shelves, in the romance section. And I'm going to put all those books in every section if I find it in the library. Oh my God, this is gonna be so Beautiful. I love Escapade. It's so good. Like, obviously, I think it's going to be edited to make it sound better. I don't even think it needs to be edited because that was the best thing I've ever read. It was so long. I think that was the longest fan fiction I've ever read. But anyway, it's going to be published. Keep an eye out for that and ear out for that. And once it's published, someone better send me a link because that's a book that's worth my time and my money. I remember one time I was reading Escapade and my dad's like, oh, tell me what it's about. And I was like, uh, you know what? I, I think I forgot <laughs> because I couldn't tell him that it was like a Larry fan fiction. That's just too embarrassing. All right. So if I miss anything, put it down below. And like always, I make a video once a week. So like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys later. Bye.